If not for nothing, I flew out to Michigan to see my GF at the time. Wait, except she wasn't my girlfriend. She was my best friend. Wait, except she used to be my best friend, and we were kind of dating because we always had things for each other. But the time was always off and on. Then she got a boyfriend. Then I had a girlfriend. Then something else about whatever. Who gives a fuck? Dating in the modern era. Anyway, I flew out to Michigan to see her. I really need a relaxing weekend, but only God himself knows why I thought I found that in Michigan. But she knew me. She knew how to make any place feel comfortable, and it was the NBA Finals, so in theory, nothing could go wrong. In theory. She picked me up from the airport, and we stopped at Fud Ruckers for food. Nothing significant happened there. I just distinctly remember the burger not being worth the $13 I paid for. By the time we got back to a place, it was late, and we hit the bed pretty hard. By the time I woke up, she was already at the gym. It was her thing, and I loved that. She came back energized, which I thought would work in my favor, only to realize that the only thing she wants to do is go puppy shopping. Who turns on a girl that wants to go puppy shopping? Uh, sure, that sounds relaxing. Haha. <laughs> Unless the dog chain is located in Kentucky. A four hour drive away, but no, no, of course the fuck not. No, she won't mention that part. We're going puppy shopping, and when she says it, if you're smart enough, you just eat a bowl, of shut the fuck up, and stay supportive. The whole way there, the whole way back, the day comes to a close, and I'm aggravated and exhausted. But triumphant because I didn't break. Smile through every bit of the pain, and we get back and take showers. When we get in the bed, she's in a thin night gown, looking how she'd be looking when she won't look like that. I catch the signal, real smooth. I reach over my arm to her waist, and to my surprise, it is immediately met with a smack and a stern look. No, clear as day. I give her my most lost glance, and she turns over in the bed. I calmly cross my fingers on my chest but there's nothing calm about me what more do you want from me lady this was your idea i tried to leave it alone and fall asleep but eventually i pressed the issue which of course led to us getting in a huge heated argument ending with her sleeping in her bedroom alone and me sleeping in the living room watching game five of the finals mad and miserable nice way to spend my last full night there she went to work in the morning i waited around for my flight bored out my mind i started to peruse her apartment looking at pictures checking decor at her nightstand i noticed a half pink ipad hanging out from underneath this wouldn't be a big deal if she wasn't so organized so it seemed suspicious and as i'm investigating suddenly out of nowhere she hadn't been going up about an hour it starts booming vibrating lighting up rapid messages all over i refuse to check but in my mind she knew me she knew that check or at least take a peek i had to take a fucking peek only to see her talking to a whole ass other man while i was in a different state to see her fam she let him name the dog i was fuming i felt disrespect and it had nothing to do with all my rage it'd be a cornball move to wreck her property and i still needed her to drive me to the airport it was like a goddamn chess move which made me wonder more than it made me mad wondering till i eventually remember the months prior when she thought we were exclusive but i thought we were besties or something else or something nothing serious whatever dating in the modern era i told her about another girl who i'd seen a week before her and she barely gave a response but how she responded i could tell she was offended but she poker faced me so i let it go it's okay it's okay no i'm not mad is she cool do you still know her oh okay okay i fucking believed it now i'm mad in this apartment looking dumb as hell i unballed my fist and just laughed she knew me she knew me well well played you dirty bitch i ordered an uber and waited the rest of the time out in the airport Amen. How, you, how you pause this shit